Guys, uh, welcome in my uh, no, new session uh, where I'm going to discuss today uh, object oriented programming, which is very, very important concept, not only for Java, it is for any programming language. Clear? So we need to understand what we have learned so far. We have uh, so far, we have learned the very fundamental of the programming, right? What is the variable? What is the keyword? How to declare the variable, right? What are the data type? What is the operator? Make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, different programming construct like if else, while loop, break, continue, switch, etc. Array, right? Mm -hmm. So today uh, we need to understand what is the pro problem with the procedural programming language, right? Because uh, nowadays uh, we are using object-oriented programming language, right? So Java is one of the example of what kind of programming language? Any guess? Object-oriented object -oriented programming oriented. language, right? My dear dear friends, uh, if you have any questions uh, which is not uh, coming on top of your uh, top of your head, please feel free to discuss. Please, please, I'm just requesting it, right? Because in Oops concept, more question you will ask, more you will learn. Clear? Mm -hmm. So we need to understand what is the procedural programming language. In earlier, if you talk about C and C++, uh, we always write a function, 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 right? Problem was that approach is uh, there was no boundary on the function. So let me tell you what is the what kind of problem you can come across when you are using I'm sorry. procedural uh, programming language. Procedural. procedural. In procedural programming language, you write thousand of function, right? Uh, like one function you can write uh, through which people can uh, fly. One function you can write uh, people can anybody can dance, right? And one function you can write anybody can bark. Clear? One function you can write, anybody can walk. Any function you can write, anybody can eat. Any function you can write, anybody can uh, cry. E, these are what? Functions. So mm -hmm. when you when somebody will call this function, uh, anybody can uh, perform this operation because uh, this function are public. We don't have any boundary. You know boundary meaning is? You cannot say this function will be called by only these people, right? So. Mm -hmm. My dear friend, honestly, I'm telling you, I want to make my session very, very interactive, right? And uh, mm -hmm. for that, you can help me how? By asking questions, right? So, guys, try to understand. I'm, 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 I'm designing dog, right? I want to design a system who can behaves as a dog. So, so uh, uh, in this, I don't have any boundary of it. So, what I can do? I can, I can call a method bark, right? So it is okay, right? Mm -hmm. As for my design, mm -hmm. dog yeah. can bark. bark it's, it's, I can call yeah. method walk, dog can walk. I can call mm -hmm. a method eat, dog can eat. I can uh, call a method cry, dog cry, right? Sometime. Mm -hmm. I have seen dog crying at night. Mm -hmm. uh, of so, course, I, uh, you can see around me a lot of street dogs are there. They are, they are, they are barking mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they don't know session is going on. Mm -hmm. So. What can happen is you can call a fly method. Oh my God, what happened? When you call this method, your dog started to fly. Fly. It means there's something something wrong with your dog system, right? Yeah, crazy dog. Because dog, crazy dog, <laughs> dog. Because oh my God, how dog can fly? This is the problem within your in your design. Am I right or not? Why? Mm -hmm. Because uh, you don't have boundary on it, right? You don't have boundary on it. Any anybody can call any method. Am I right or not? It's right. not the character of the dog. Yeah, but you don't have any boundary. Anybody can, can because function can be called by anybody. You know it, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Similarly, uh, you can go with some other entity. Are you following me? Yes. Suppose I'm just uh, going to take a pen through which uh, you can write something on paper, right? So mm -hmm. I need to understand the way I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm telling you. My thinking is really uh, different from others. So you should try to try to think the way I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm telling you, you got a point. Mm -hmm. So because uh, oops concept is totally no need to mug it. I'm telling you, if you understand it, you can uh, you know understand the concept. So if you see in this diagram, I'm trying to copy a pen. Can you see this pen? I'm designing the pen. So pen can do what? You know it, right? Using mm -hmm. pen, you can write something on paper. That That is correct or not? Mm -hmm. So again, I'm telling you, uh, we have a write function. So we are programmer, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I can call a write function and using write function, what happened? Pain can write on paper. Yes. Clear? Mm -hmm. So you can um, 
use a method info which can display all the information about pen, and pen. But, but you don't have any boundary any, anybody can call any method so here by mistake you call bark oh my god what happened pen started to bark, bark. so you would say oh my god who designed this pen i will kill him he's very crazy he designed something which is totally not acceptable make sense yes mm -hmm. So these two behavior we are not expecting from a pen. And this pen, right? That is the problem. Mm -hmm. So you tell me this problem comes, uh, we, you know, because of our design, we did something wrong, right? Because we call mm -hmm. something wrong. So you tell me why this problem is happening. This problem is happening by mistake. You, and you cannot have any, any control on the mistake. Mistake is done by mistake or mistake is done by knowingly. Any guess? Mistake is done by non-knowingly. Non knowingly, right? Nobody does a mistake knowingly. You know the reason. You cannot say, hey, this mistake I have done knowingly. People will kill you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know? So, mm -hmm. we, so this, this uh, procedural programming approach uh, uh, has a flaw, right? First flaw is you don't have, uh, you know, any boundary on the uh, method function which you have. Anybody can call any function. Oh. Second problem with this approach is uh, you cannot manage all this code, right? What? Function does not can you help me does not have any boundary. boundary boundary means anybody can call any function second issue is we cannot manage the code right third we cannot use the code we cannot reuse the code i'll tell you meaning of it okay so and fourth, uh, we don't have better encapsulation. We don't have proper encapsulation. We'll talk about all this thing, right? So these are some problem. And uh, fourth, fifth one is uh, we don't have polymorphism. We do not have polymorphism. These are some problem which we have, right? So all this program problem, how you can overcome any guess? With the help of which concept? I forget it. Object, object oriented. Object oriented concept. If you apply the object oriented concept, you can overcome this problem. So Java is the one of the best example of Oops. object oriented concept. So I hope uh, you understand why I'm going to discuss procedural, uh, sorry, uh, object oriented programming concept. You got it or you got super duper confused? I got confused. Pardon? I got confused. Why are you confused? Because I just talked about the problem with the procedural language, uh, procedural language. I haven't talked about anything about the oops. So why are you confused? Reason? Um, yes, I'm confused because the over here you the function doesn't have. So you're just describing the everything, right? In what function, uh, you may have a lot of function, but anybody can call any function. That's problem you have. Okay. So. This is uh, only we talked about the problem. I haven't talked about the solution. Okay. So why are you confused? <laughs> and next thing is uh, why you oops concept, right? In, if you use the oops concept, automatically all this problem will be solved. Okay. So if you allow to me, uh, I can make a story and let's start the programming. Right. So my dear friends. You just think the way I'm thinking, right? I'm going to talk about uh, class and object today. So class and object definition is there, I think already in my slide. Uh, but uh, I can, uh, you know, uh, but I can talk it again on it. So uh, you, you just think um, I'm running a workshop. What? I'm running a workshop and I used to design dog. People, you have to help me for that. What I said? Okay. You have to design uh, a dog. Yeah, I designed a dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, you came to know from your friend. What you came to know from your friend? If there is a company uh, which is run by the Nagendra and he designed the dog and you came to me. Right? And uh, when you came to me, uh, and you say again, uh, can you, can you, I, I came to know you designed the dog. I say, yeah, I, I do, I do, right? So, so, you know, before that, uh, before designing it, let's talk on this slide. We need to understand class and object, right? 
so mm -hmm. object see object is a real entity uh, which you can uniquely identify as per its attribute and behavior let me tell you the a lot of example anything right if i talk about and you come to know do you know aeroplane mm -hmm. yeah car right no. anything all are the objects anything which you can uniquely identify as per the attribute and behavior right so if i'm talk about dog right dog is an example of the object mm -hmm. please reply yes because dog has attribute what is the attribute of the dog nose tail eyes color mm -hmm. weight and nails right and bark mm -hmm. walk cry dance run are the behavior of the dog every object has only two things please mug it what is it attributes and behavior uh, every object has attribute and uh, let's talk about uh, example of human man right M tell me the attribute of the man let me tell you man has eyes nose mm -hmm. right two legs yes. two hands of course that's it mm -hmm. and uh, color of course color right mm -hmm. and uh, what is the behavior of the human right human can dance walk sleep smell right mm -hmm. human can bark no no, he is not supposed to. Is somebody is doing mm -hmm. like this? No, bad, bad manners. Am I right? Yes, yes, you know. Oh man, we are supposed to show only our expected behavior. If you do beyond it, people will say you are mad. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know. Very yes, normal. Sir. So every object has attribute and behavior, and you can uniquely <laughs> identify. And those are called objects. So you understand the definition of the object? Yeah, object mm -hmm. is a real entity which you can uniquely identify as per its attribute and behavior. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And one object you can compare with other object on the basis of what? How you can compare dog and uh, a dog and human, a man? Can you compare it? Of course. Mm -hmm. Who is both intelligent? Dogs. Man. Oh. <laughs> somebody, somebody is kidding. Somebody is kidding. No. Mm -hmm. Human is the most intelligent, you know, creature in the world. You know it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We. Okay, we, are, we have control on everybody, right? We are God, simple as that. An object can be tangible and intangible. Please remember it. What yeah. about an, an idea can be, uh, an idea is an object. You know Newton's first law, second law? Have you gone through the physics? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, the, the chemistry principles are there. So anything which, which, which I can talk about and you know that is called object, right? Hello, mm -hmm. air is an object. Of course, if I say air, you understand, right? Object, mm -hmm. anything, yeah. uh, you know, uh, which I'm talking about and you know that is object. So after this, if I say, can you give me the example of 10 object? Can you give it? You can say, again, are you kidding? I can give you the example of thousand of object. You are talking only 10. <laughs> yes, you know, everything is an object. Yes, man. Yes, you know? yes, mm -hmm. What about your teeth? Your teeth is your teeth is an object. Mm -hmm. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Bone, everything is an object. Oh my God! So one object is made from other object. Yes, man. One object is composition of other objects. If you talk about car, car is an object, and car is made from wheels, gear, mm -hmm. slater, seats, mm -hmm. tire, engine. Mm -hmm. Those are small object of it. Got it? So object definition is clear to everybody, or you have any confusion? An object comprises only two things: attribute and Behavior. Behavior. And I'm telling you, uh, if you see an object, right, uh, your attribute drives the, your behavior. If your attribute is changed, your behavior will be changed. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. If you talk about, uh, you know, uh, biology, people are saying in human behavior change when uh, his hormone changes. Yes, you know, hormones. Hormones means mm -hmm. your attributes. Mm -hmm. Got it? So who drives whom? Attributes drives behavior a positive behavior. if i want to change your uh, behavior what i will do i will change your attribute you know mm -hmm. you can make some somebody angry yes you know you may be changing yeah. his attribute and he got angry how dare you to say me mm -hmm. got it so sure. object definition is clear yes class class is nothing a class is a just template uh, uh, you know which describe the object that's it oh man if you want to know about any object, uh, attribute and behavior, where you will go and look into it, class of it.
Got it? Mm. So what is the difference between class and object? Object is a real entity which physically exists, but class contains the description about the object. If you want to know what what dog attribute and behavior is, where you will go, you will go in dog class. Make sense? Mm. So class is a template for object. Class is blueprint for the object. Class contains description about the object. Object is an instance of the class. What your definition? Class is a group of oh my god, all the definition from book and here and there. Make sense? Okay. <clears throat> Anybody have any question query before jumping to the next slide? No questions for me. Mm, no. Guys, um, now story starts. Guys, um, my name is Nagendra and I'm running a, a workshop and uh, I used to design the dog toy. So one day, one person come to me. He said, hey, I came to know you designed the dog. I said, yes. Tell me. He said, can you design a dog for me? I said, yes. So the moment when he uh, he started to talk about his requirement, I would uh, write the class. Can you see this class? Dog. He, I'm making template. Can you see this? Class mm -hmm. is a keyword. Keywords are those words which meaning is predefined for the compiler and you can only use it, but you can't change the meaning of it. And class is always a keyword is always in a small letter. So I'm making a class dog and and uh, he tell me what your dog should. He's saying my dog should have color and that color should be uh, red. Hey, who's my friend for today? Nobody is helping me actually. Uh, who am I sure? Yeah. What's your name? Alan. Ellen, you are my friend. Yes, sir. Come with me. So you came to me and you said, sir, can you design me dog for me? I said, yes. So you said my dog should have color red and yep. my dog should have tell you are very naughty. That's why you said your dog should have two tails. <laughs> okay. After that, you said, sir, uh, my dog should, uh, you know, uh, you can write public. It is optional. My dog should dance. Got it. So this yes, is sir. method is a behavior, right? Yes. So this syntax is clear to everybody. Public is optional. You can write, you write or not doesn't matter, right? So this is the return type. This is the method and this method is not taking any parameter. So dog can system dot out dot printer. Clear? Yes. So I'm designing dog. Dog can dance. That's true. I have seen a lot of dogs dancing. <laughs> and dog can bark, right? Without yes. bark, he cannot live. Have you seen any bar dog who is not barking at all? No, every dog barks. Bark, every dog barks all the time. Yes. I don't know why we did it. Dog barks at night. That's incorrect. <laughs> barks all the time. Maybe they're hungry. Yeah, even hungry and uh, sometimes even he eat a lot, they started to bark. Oh my God, <laughs> why I eat a lot? <laughs> sure. That's true. That's true. Okay. So can you see this? Your template is ready. Yes. Are you following me? And from this template, uh, you can make a. Uh, then my next question to to you, Ellen. How many uh, how many dog toy you want? He said I want only two right now. Okay. So in order to make the dog, what I need to do? I have to write code some Java, right? Instructions. See, Ellen, when you do new, new is an operator keyword. And you can write the class name and uh, parenthesis open and close and semicolon. Oh my God, what happened? When you say new dog, your dog is created. One dog, one physically dog came in front of you and start, right? Yes. Like this. Oh, okay. If you want to make another dog, again, you can write new dog. New dog, new dog, new dog, new dog. New dog. So, right? Three dogs. Yes. So, tell me, if you create a dog, it is a memory, right? And if you don't yes. have, uh, you know, address of it, remote of it, you cannot access it. Let me tell you one of the good example in the real life. Ellen came to me and he said, Nagin, I just bought a car for you. And he has gone. Oh. Okay. He hasn't told me anything about it. Where car, where car, he, where, where he has parked the car. He has, a, he hasn't told me anything. Oh my God. Do you think it's it makes sense to me? You, do you think it makes sense for me? No. No. He said, "I hate it. I just bought a car for you, but he didn't did, did tell me where, where where it has been parked." No. No. <laughs> okay. Joking, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. In this way, you have to give the car to anybody. You can say, yeah, "I bought the car. I will give you a car." Right? Daily, daily, you can say like that. Oh my God. So when you are create the object, right? You need to hold the address of it so that you can you know. access it, right? So. Yes. 
whenever you give me the car, you have to also tell me where it is parked, right? So this will create an object and return the address of it. And that address you are storing in a variable. Variable name could be anything, right? Are you following me? So yes. left side and right side. Right side, uh, this instruction is doing what? It is creating instance of dog in, in Java heap, which is inside the JBM. This is creating what man? Java heap. An object of dog, right? Object, object of, dog, of yes. dog inside Java heap. Java. And Java heap is a part of JB, mm -hmm. Java virtual machine, right? And uh, it is returning the address, right? Address of every mem memory has address. And that address uh, you are storing in a variable. And that variable name is DK. It's and it. this variable type is dog. So DK is saying I can only hold the variable of I can only hold the address of dog. Tell me uh, in our in your home you may be using remote. You yes. may have a remote for AC. You may have remote for television. In US uh, you uh, operate all these things with remote or some magic is there. I don't know. In India I use uh, always remote. Right now I have a remote of AC in my hand. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Can America, they use the app. Yeah, that's fine. Exception is there. Smart people. So as per this uh, remote AC, uh, the AC of the remote can only operate on AC. AC. It cannot operate the television, right? Similarly, if DK is dog type, it can hold Only an dog. object of dog. You cannot assign monkey, right? No, no, no. monkey. This is clear to everybody. And mm. I'm telling you, if you make the dog, this dog can show only this behavior because now you have boundary of the dog. See, one day, one day, Ellen came to me and he said, sir, can you fly? I said, how, 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 how dare you to talk like this? <laughs> I said, you are joking, right? You are insulting me. That's correct. Because dog, I cannot fly because God hasn't given me that kind of behavior to me. That's the reason. Yes, you know? Of yes. course, you cannot talk like this. Got it? Yes. Like here, dog has now boundary. Dog can only dance and bark. Beyond it, dog cannot do anything. Dog can, uh, dog can cry? No. No. This dog cannot cry. This dog can uh, walk? No. No. This dog can run? No. 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 You would say this no. is not in the boundary of the dog. This is not in the design of the dog. The do dog will always have red color, right? So color, yeah, yeah. You can uh, uh Ellen asked me to create the three dog, right? All the all my dog would have red color and two two tail. Oh, okay. This is the limitation of this design. Okay, so let's play with design first and uh, then later. Uh, Ellen can change his requirement. You would say, Nagin, uh, I don't want dog with red color. I want dog with different color. I want mm -hmm. dog with different tail, right? Requirement change. We'll talk on that. Okay. Okay. So, thank you. Okay. I hope this much concept is clear to you. What is the procedural programming language? What was the issue with the procedural programming? How we overcome the, with the issue, right? In object orientation, mm -hmm. class definition, object definition, uh, creating the object using new operator. Left side is called. This much is called creating the reference variable DK of dog type. Let me write it. Hey, what I'm doing? Creating reference. I am creating a reference variable of dog class dog type. Okay. I'm creating a reference of uh, dog type. This is the meaning of uh, this much uh, statement. Oh, Mr. Frames, if you write dog, DK, right? Hey, I'm creating a reference variable of dog type. New dog means, hey, I'm creating an object of dog inside Java heap. Object is created where? In the JBM. In which portion of the JBM? Java heap. In Java heap. So if you allow to me, can we convert this into Java code in the editor? Yes. See, uh, let me write uh, more about it. Uh, here you are writing DD and new dog. Can you see this? And oh, like here, if you want to call a dog uh, method, you can say DD dot dance. Got it? Hey, DD dance. 
So output is dog can dance. Similarly, you can do what? Bark. Did did bark. If you want to print the attribute of it, you can say system dot r dot print ln. What? Did Here it? you can write td dot Oops. color, right? This is the attribute. You cannot use parentheses, right? Okay. Method, you are calling method, you can use parentheses. But when you are accessing the attribute, you don't need parentheses. Remember it. Okay. So, guys, if you allow to me, let me write the same thing in the editor because you like editor. Mm -hmm. um, many people like many things. Honestly, I'm telling you. One day I was taking session. Somebody says, Why you are making everything in the paint? I don't like it. Uh, me too, I like the editor too. Uh, no, no, that's fine. <laughs> but without paint, how I can explain to you, both is required actually. <laughs> Everybody has their different style, right? We cannot go every everybody's style. Problem. There's more tools you learn. It's more yeah. helpful for you guys. Yeah, of course, man. Somebody would say, Nagan, I don't like your voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot do anything. Sorry. God made me like this. I cannot do like this. That is not in my hand. Okay. So, guys, e, uh, color was there. Am I right? Color is? Red. Uh, red, red, same program. Let's let's write it. Please. And here, and again, quick question, man. Yes, sir. Uh, so, a quick question is, uh, what happens if you create like say string color equals to new uh, new string, and then well, uh, how is that going to work? You are smart. Both are same. I will teach you this in my string uh, manipulation chapter. Okay, okay. No, no, I was just asking yeah, you guys, that. If you want to, there? yeah, if you want to watch in the advance, my recording is there. Okay, okay. Just your before core Java recording, um, there is one recording, a string. You can watch and enjoy because in interview, the, the way I'm teaching you, you'll be master in core Java after some time. All right, all but right. you have to, but just ensure you are daily eating honey and almonds and all so that you, you should not forget the thing. Mm, sure. So, and pants. and here dogs dog box all the time got it a if you want to make the object you can make a main method over here right main is always starting point of the program you know it right main is always starting point of the program. Hey, who calls the main method? Calls main method. I'll kill you. Tell me. JBM. JBM main thread. Please remember it. Okay. Okay. Who calls the main method? JBM main yeah. thread. Yeah. Don't say somebody's name. Okay. So here, if you want to make the object of dog, please tell me dog. DK new dog. You got it? Uh, parenthesis, right? New, new is an operator, right? Used to uh, create the object of dog. And this is the address. So you can call what? Dog can dance. DK can. Dog. E, dog can fly. DK can fly. No, no, no. Compile time error. Dog will cry. Oh my God! You are trying. You are trying something. You are expecting something which I cannot do. It. I'm sorry. No. Right. Done. Right. So guys, uh, you can call uh, the, 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 the DK dot color, and you can call DK dot tell. You know the output. Yep. Output uh, right is hand. dog can dance. Dog barks all the time. Oh. Okay. And color is red. Tail is two. Hey, just be honest. How many people understand this program? I do. I do. I do. I do. Please, please. I do. Think the way I'm teaching you, I do. if you really put your all the effort on it, you'll understand for sure. And just do everything on daily basis. Don't put anything in the backlog. The day you put the thing in the backlog, you'll be gone. <laughs> Only from the session, not not from anywhere else. Please, please don't take my words <laughs> in other way. Gone means only from the session. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay. Yes. So, people. 
So this is uh, now. When I make the three dog, Ellen came to me. He said, no, no, no. I don't want all the dog with red color. I want dog with different color and different tail. One dog my has so one tail, only two, three, right? Oh my God. Is the community change or not? Yes. Is, first of all, see what is the requirement is. He's saying, I want uh, how many copy of the dog? Three different <laughs> object, but uh, all the objects should have different color and different number of tail. So this template cannot do it. Am I right? If you make yeah. another object of it, let me show you. Here, but you have to change the variable name, right? PK. Got it? See, if you print the PK uh, tail and color, tell me that would be same or different? Different. No, 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 no. Uh, same because of the color of the dog? Yeah, the because name, of right? the template, because of the design, right? Yeah. PK attributes. Hey, you got it? Ellen, I'm yes. not able to solve your problem. Your requirement is you want three dog with different color. The different color. color and different tail, but I cannot do it. So there is some problem with the template or not? This template is not generic. Guys, first of all, you should understand the problem. I'll give you the solution. Hmm? Yeah, understand the problem. Problem you understand? Yes. So there should be something when you make the object, you can customize the attribute of it, right? So right. let me do it. If you understand this much, I can teach you a small topic and then I will make you free for today. Can I try if you allow to me? Sure. First of all, you should understand the problem with the template. So I'm I'm going to make a like here. This template will not solve the purpose. It will always give the color red and tell uh, sorry two two tails always right. So so mm -hmm. so so so. What I want going to do is I want to make a new template, right? Which can uh, solve the Ellen problem. So here, uh, same pro same program I'm going to do with Joker because one class only I can make it once, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Just change the class, right? Can you see this? Yes. Joker has color and tell. Instead of Joker, I can take cat. I hope you know cat. Mew, mew. Mm -hmm. Cat can mu mu and walk and walk. Cat and walk. E Ellen, yes. same program, but you want cat with different color and yes. cat has tail. I know one tail. Yes. I don't know how one to see and yeah. black. Yeah, so. You see, if you want to uh, modify the attribute of the object at the time of its creation, what do you want to do? I want to change the attribute. I want to uh, change. Yes, the attribute. The attributes of the objects at the time of its creation are you, are you following me yes in in order to achieve this uh, you can use uh, some concept in java that is called constructor what constructor. constructor so if you want to write the constructor you have to follow the rule first rule of the constructor is uh, write a method right method constructor is a method can you see this but this method does not return anything and name should be same as class. You got it? What is it? Can say? you write and describe the constructor, please, as a comment? Construct, constructor, no worries. Constructor is a method. Yes. Constructor is a method which is used to initialize. Constructor is a method which you use to initialize attribute of the object okay. at the time of uh, its creation got it okay. and uh, what is the rule of writing the constructor name must be same class Ellen, name, name yes. must be same as class name second no return type that's yeah. it and uh, first one is it is a method right but right. no return type name should be same as this is the constructor. Why? No yes. return type. 
class uh, name is same as a class name here you can use two parameter in the constructor one is color and second one is uh, tell tell LNP. so what is the benefit of it you can call this method constructor at the time of creation you can pass color of your choice and this color will be overridden by the the c right whatever you will right. pass in the c this will go and change the color of the created cat similarly you can uh, change the tail as well yes. confuse no so now if i want to uh, make the object of the cat right in the main method a you want uh, how many cat two two cat right so you can write cat c1 new cat but here uh, you can call a uh, parameterized constructor cat new c new and here you are calling this constructor this constructor is called parameterized because it is taking this is called parameter you know it no. input method input is called parameter remember it okay method input is called parameter can i say uh, this is parameterized constructor because it is taking parameter this yes. is parameterized constructor right Right. This is parameterized constructor. Got it? Yes. So guys, here I can pass the in this is the constructor, right? And first thing you want to pass the color of your choice. You want to make your uh, first uh, cat a white color and you want to just have only one tail. Similarly, yes. you want to create uh, another cat C2 color. You can make it black, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And tail two. So your question, they see when you call it, it will call the constructor, right? And yeah. it will change the color. Initially, color is red, but you are changing it, right? So when yes. object is created, uh, it would be having color red and tail two, right? Later, constructor would be called and it will take uh, white in this and white. one in this, right? And it will change the original color and original tail of it, right? So color red will be replaced by white and white. two would be replaced by one. Similarly, in case of this, uh, red will be replaced by black black and all so a i am able to solve your problem with the help of what constructor right so using constructor you would be able to change the uh, initialize the attribute of the object yeah, yes, so here it is printing the color and tail of c1 and this is printing the color and tail of, of c2 c2 so ln I am able yes. to solve this design is good, but tomorrow I will tell you what is the flaw with it, right? This is okay. called parameterized constructor, which will take the parameter. But this is called if you don't write any uh, any argument, right? If you don't pass it, so this is called uh, no argument constructor. So tomorrow I'll continue this session, right? This is okay. Yes. This for uh, no argument. No, uh, no argument constructor. And and more we'll talk about tomorrow. This is enough for today, okay? So my dear friends, I don't know. Yes. Uh, you are putting a lot of effort to understand it. I, it is just cup of tea. Syntax is always uh, a problem. Syntax you can understand when you do it, right? So tomorrow yes. agenda is we'll start a constructor again, right? And I'm telling you the way I'm teaching you. If you go in my style and understand, mm -hmm. I'm telling you I can give the guarantee, right? No need to mug the concept. You'll understand very, very clearly. You say, Nagin, I don't understand the uh, you know syntax and all, but I can tell you the concept. Make sense? So, Make guys, sense. I'm just stopping my session uh, till here. I next session will go with next topic. Thank you so much for your time.